Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the interview experience of a specialist programmer for the Infosys. So in today's video, I'm going to discuss how the rounds begin, what are the things you have to do to qualify for the specialist programmer in the Infosys, and what are the questions asked in the actual rounds and the interviews. So I'm going to talk about all these aspects in detail. So without any further delay, let's get started. So Infosys hires for the specialist programmer role through hack with NP examination. Every year you have to go through hack with NP examinations if you are eligible to give that examinations. In the hack with NP, there are basically three questions asked and all the questions are the coding question only. First question is easy, second question is medium and the third question is hard. The first question you can make using array and string. You don't have to use the advanced programming logics over there. For the medium questions, the topic can be any like link list or uh, stack tree graphs any and most of the time you have to implement that question using a greedy approach and the third question is also can be on any topic that can be link list tree graph and most of the time you have to implement that using dynamic programming so the thing is uh, if you have enough practice you can at least solve two out of three questions and if you can able to solve two out of three question you can qualify for the prime interview and if you can solve 1.5 out of three question you can qualify for the digital specialist engineer role in the Infosys. So after the test the result will come out in most probably one or two months and after that in upcoming 14 to 15 days your interview is going to be scheduled. So the interview is basically going to last for 45 minutes. And yeah, that is the only interview. Apart from that, no any interview is there. Through that interview, you will get the offer later of digital specialist engineer or can be a specialist programmer. So let's suppose you have solved two out of three questions and you have qualified for the specialist programmer role. So basically what they are going to do is they're going to start your interview with your introduction. And after that, they are going to ask some cross question based on your introduction. Like, tell me something about your major project and minor project. Based on that, they are going to ask some cross question on your major and minor project. Like how you have developed, what is your role in your major project? How you developed your minor project like that. After that, there are some general question for all the prime candidates and digital specialist engineer candidate is the basic query of the SQL, like based on the basic logic of SQL. So for that, you have to be ready in the all the aspect of the SQL. Just go and read the basics of SQL. They are not going to ask you some advanced concept, like basic concept they are going to ask. Apart from this, they are going to ask question based on your programming language. Your programming language can be any like Java, Python or C++. Based on your programming language, they are going to ask some questions. They are also going to ask some oops concept, like mostly if you are from a Java background or a Python background, you have to like definitely be ready for the OOPS concept. Apart from this, they are going to give you some coding question and those coding question is not going to be easy. The, of course, the first coding question is going to be easy. Apart from this, other coding question is not going to be easy. They are kind of a logical based coding question because you have solved the coding question in the Hack with Envy contest and they are expecting that you can able to solve this question also. So you have to be ready for that. You have to be prepared for all the coding questions. Apart from this, what are the skills you have mentioned in your resume? They are going to ask question on that also because they are going to give you a time approx 45 minutes to one hour. So in that duration, they are going to check you in every scenarios. And also if you have mentioned some achievements in your resume, they are also going to ask question on that. So be ready according to your resume be ready according to your project and be ready according to your programming language. So these are the aspects based on that interviewer going to ask questions. Like I can share the exact question asked in the interviews, but the thing is those questions are not going to ask from you in your interview. So what are the basic scenarios? What are the basic aspects from which the interviewer going to ask a question? I already told you about that. So just be prepared on those set of questions, those set of topics and you can able to crack it. So yeah, if this video is really helpful for you, please like and share this video. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. So yeah, I'm wrapping this video over here. 